Congratulations on purchasing a Scorpion Sting. Today we're going to be running through some of the external features and the internal features. We know you must be excited to actually hand the van over, but today we're just going through the key features for you. So we're going to start up the front. We've got a DO35 full off-road hitch right at the front here. Um, we're going to actually give you the pin and we're going to set that up on your vehicle and make sure everything's sitting nice and well before you leave today. All right. Also on the front, we've got a work light as well. So this is the same on the back and the off side of the van. Otherwise, we've got the, the signature Sting Toolbox, which has a slide out for your barbecue on one side, generator for the other. Also with this, you've got two nine kilo gas bottles enclosed on the inside. So having that storage there means you can put chocks, hoses, basically anything you like in there. The van's also fitted with the ESC by Alco, so a stability controller. It's a really important for those um, long highway drives you're gonna be having. Moving down the van, all right, we've got a pole carrier at the front. So annex poles, anti-flap kits, fishing rods, whatever you can actually fit in there, you can put that in there. So the front of your van, you've got three very important cables that connect to your car. Seven pin flat or a 12 pin flat, whatever you've decided on the day. You've also got a Gray Anderson. Now what this is doing is it's charging your batteries. It's also powering your fridge. The red Anderson here is for the stability controller. All right, so that's a little black box in the middle of the axle that actually has patterns in the road recognized, so it prevents sway from happening. All right, a couple other things here. You've got your reverse camera, so we, we've provided you with the kit already, and it's a WASA cable that connects to your car, so there's two cameras on the back of the van, which I'll touch on when we get back there. You've also got your breakaway cable. Some other things, st uh, the stone guard on the front. You've also got your enclosed gas bottles that I mentioned earlier, all in there. So moving down the side of your van, you've got your tunnel boot. Now this goes the entire way through the caravan. It's fully galled at the bottom there. So preventing any scratching or any water on existing products going in there, right? You've also got a bottle jack, your DO35, which we're gonna set up on the day, your tire lug and the racket to actually get uh, the legs down. So speaking of those, under here, we have your stabilizer legs. Just pulling that, we'll actually drop this down plug that into there and then that actually bring the legs down to stabilize it. We recommend getting a cordless drill, it makes your life a lot easier. Bringing this up when traveling. Just here you've also got your gas bayonet, so if you have your Weber or any sort of barbecue um, in the toolbox there, plug and play, pretty simple. Alright, the annex we've already touched on. Uh, on the side here we've got a couple awning lights, so you can see now they're a soft orange, they also have a bright white LED setting as well so you can see what you're doing at night. Moving down you have your entertainment hatch so you can control your stereo from out here you can also plug your TV in so the same bracket that we have on the inside just plop it out here all right 12 volt plug and also a 240 point all out here in that entertainment hatch. You've got your two speakers so fusion one here and one there and also a picnic table the whole way through. Now this doesn't require to be locked when putting away just lift those up there shut that and then lock from there. Uh, it's really important that you lock it before you're traveling. The last thing you wanna do is hit something. Also with it being down, you become illegal in width, so you can get fined for that. So always essential to lock those down there. The Sting sits on a 4.5 ton Cruise Master ATX suspension. Right. Uh, full off-road means it can go literally anywhere in Australia. So this is the best that Cruise Master have to offer for this van. Moving down, we've got your 10 amp outlet. All right. So just pulling this up here, nice and tight. You can see we have a 10 amp outlet. Now this is 240, so when your van's plugged in, saves you running cables or leads underneath your van. You just plug that in, you can boil a kettle out here. You can do whatever you like. All right. At your door, we've got a couple important things as well. Now this van comes with a, a, a double electric step, which with a click of a button, we can put away or pull out. Right. Obviously, again, when you're traveling, make sure you put that away. So your actual door itself, 
right, so there's a couple of things we can do here. We can uh, divide this up. So moving this latch here to the side and pulling the handle, that will allow us to divide that up. So we can then shut that, lock it, um, but you can create nice airflow while also having security. So nice mesh there. This door in itself has four points that it locks, you can see, and it's a steel frame the whole way around, so no one's getting in. All right, when actually putting this back into the other door, you wanna make sure that there's two points here that are locking in. If they don't lock in, your door will not shut, you won't be able to lock it. The only other point here is there's a little silver latch here, We're actually latching it onto the van, so that way the wind can't slam your door. So here we are at the back of the van, a couple of key features as well. So we've got two jerry can holders, right? So they can hold up to 20 liters there, right? Wood box for uh, the back of the van, all sitting on a forearm bumper, so nice and heavy. You've also got your spare wheel, which is a 16 inch uh, Cooper tires with the Sting. Um, same mag as what you have on the side of the van. On this 20 foot six layout, the external shower is actually at the back. Now, depending on what layout you have, this might be on the off side of the van, uh, but that's hot and cold water. Above here, we've got a work light, like the front of the van and the off side, and we also have your dual reverse camera. Now, it's a dual camera because one of them's pointed down and it sits at a 90 degree angle. It means you can see from the back of your spares for when you're reversing. The second one is at a 120 degree angle. It's kind of like having a rear view mirror up all the time so you can see what's behind you, which is really important. Underneath here, we have two six ton recovery points and checker plate covering for all your tanks. All right, then we're gonna to move to the off side of the van. All right, so now we're on the off side of the van, otherwise known as the driver's side. Now on this slab in particular, we've got your hot water service back here. This could be located above the wheel arch, could be a little higher up. Um, we've also got your toilet cassette. So opening this up here, all right, we can then lift this latch up and slide this out. So with your toilet cassette, a couple key points. All right, you always wanna press this button here to release any pressure before you act, go ahead and actually open the cassette. So while releasing that pressure, you can then unscrew the cap here, tip the contents out. Uh, you can also open this up, all right, in order to actually uh, flush it out with a hose. Um, like I said inside, you wanna have at least two or three liters in here before using it. And then also you've got specific toilet paper that dissolves down. It's gonna make your life much easier. All right, so putting this back in, you can actually feel that click in. That way, if the cassette isn't in properly, the toilet won't open from the inside and you won't be able to flush it. So make sure that's done correctly. So moving on from your toilet, on this van, your 65 liter dedicated drinking tank has its fill point here. You've also got two more for your other tanks, which are fresh water up the front. Uh, so when filling these up, you wanna make sure that obviously you open it up, you have a hose, it's about a foot and a half long, really get it in there. And that way, when you turn your, um, your pressure on, you just wanna trickle it in. Uh, if you have too much pressure from your hose when filling them up, you tend to find that the van with well, the tank, sorry, won't actually fill up to its full potential. So you really want to take your time with this. All right, underneath here, we've got your gray water tank. So you have your outlet just here. There's a blue tap that you want to run parallel with the pipe to actually open that up. Uh, and that way it'll flow open. On the day, we're actually going to give you uh, an adapter that actually clicks onto the gray water outlet. So you can then attach it to a, a solid hose and run it off if you're at a campsite or caravan park. You've also got your water mains outlet just here. Uh, so what you want to do, plug that in, that'll override your tanks and that'll provide pressure to the van and your hot water service. Just here we have your 15 amp inlet. So when you're running a generator or you're at home, uh, caravan park, 240 in, that'll provide power to the actual van itself. And then just here you have your main switch. So it's pretty common for the van to trip um, if you've got a, a, a leaky earth in your cable. Um, that'll all happen while you're still outside, so it saves you running in and out. Above the top here, we have a sail track. Uh, that's really important. You can double it as a carport. Keeping the sun off the side of the van will actually help keep the van cool. And because your fridge is here, it'll actually help your fridge uh, run more efficiently as well. So moving down, we have a, another external light, just like the front and back, and your two other water infill points. Just here, we have an Explorer plug. Now this can be located in different spots in your van, depending on the layout. But the whole idea behind this is it's future-proofing your actual van. So just like the Sting is pre-wired for a satellite, 
this is this explorer plug will allow you to actually plug uh, an external satellite in and run it through to wherever your tv is so if you had a caravan park and they offer satellite tv instead of running cables through your window or your door you can just plug it in here and it'll go directly to the other point so moving on again just here we have your gas outlet so the whole idea there you have a gas heater on board that gas has to come out somewhere so there's no cap you can just leave it it'll do its own thing this is the other side of your tunnel boot all right so fully guard like i said and then you've also got a 12 volt light just here on the side now when when you're actually traveling you want to make sure that all your windows are shut your hatches are shut your tunnel boot your toilet make sure you've locked all of that when you're actually traveling same thing applies for your water infill points there um, but that about wraps up the external of the caravan uh, we really hope you've enjoyed this and we hope you have a bit more understanding when you actually come in and do your handover congratulations again and we'll see you very soon